The Weather Vane Theater is an actor's equity alternating repertory theater located in Whitefield, New Hampshire, which is in the White Mountains. Um, for 56 seasons, we've been presenting a mix of classical and contemporary pieces, musicals, comedies, dramas. Uh, and the thing that's unique about us is that we perform in an alternating rep so that our patrons can see a different show virtually every night. Hi, I'm Ethan Paulini, and I'm the producing artistic director of the Weather Vane Theater. So as soon as it was clear that we weren't going to be able to welcome patrons into our theater uh, in a traditional sense during the summer months of 2020, uh, it became really important to me to preserve some legacy of the 56 seasons that had gone uninterrupted before that. Um, and in addition, for a lot of the artists and the company that we've cultivated, this is really important employment for them. And we all know how much uh, arts workers have struggled in the past year during the pandemic. So I quickly started to pivot to try and think of ways that we could create something safely that would also preserve employment for so many of our tech admin and artistic staff. Um, and... Um, with Actors' Equity having very specific rules about how their performers could work, it became clear that doing original reviews for a, a virtual audience uh, was really the way to go. To. We did a review called Top of the Charts, a journey through, a rock and roll journey through the decades was the official byline of that. Uh, it was 50s through today, um, top songs of all genres, um, pop, uh, disco, um, doo-wop, uh, rock, country. It was a great review. And again, it was it featured five of our equity performers, um, all veterans of the Weather Vane that our, our patrons know and love. And it really um, spoke to their strengths and sort of pushed them outside of their comfort zone as well. Um, and I think we all had not only a great artistic challenge, but also a lot of fun. Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk. I got a Broadway road trip was inspired by the quarantine, really. Um, last year, uh, knowing that we were unable to travel, I thought, what's a way we can explore the idea of places and ways to get there? Uh, so, along with my collaborators, we created a review that really highlighted locations and modes of transportation from the musical theater canon, from the, the, the golden age all the way up to the contemporary. And again, it was sort of tailor-made to our equity company. Rush Up Your Shakespeare allowed us to explore Shakespeare in a very consumable way, a fun way. Um, it, it took it it took it out of the context of the shows, but created a through line. Uh, and surprisingly enough, it became our best selling and most popular review of the three. Uh, and we actually extended it and added an extra performance at the end of the season. So for the first time in 2020, we explored streaming, um, which was really the silver lining to, to the whole season for me. Uh, we'd never done anything like that and it allowed us to achieve two things. One, it kept us engaged with the community when they couldn't come to the barn on Route 3, uh, but it also allowed us to expand our reach. It allowed us to tap into audiences all across the country and really across the globe um, and, and, and provided a, a tremendous amount of access that in a normal season we wouldn't have been able to achieve. We were also really able to use our intern company, which is made up of uh, young artists at the beginning of their career, mostly in and just out of top musical theater training programs throughout the country. They were able to present their patchwork season, which is their theater for young audiences. Uh, we not only presented them on live stream from inside the theater, we also did outdoor performances in a new initiative that we're gonna keep called Picnic with Patchwork outside in our backfield. Uh, and they were able to safely tour throughout the North Country um, and, and present at multiple venues uh, throughout New Hampshire. And in August, we became the first uh, venue first producing organization in the country to be approved by Actors Equity to do a fall season. Uh, we opened that with Little Shop of Horrors. We also presented a 
very charming comedy that became the sleeper hit of the season called A Miracle on South Division Street. And we did the musical review, The World Goes Round, which is uh, featuring songs of candor and ebb. The support from the community was amazing. We had to follow strict safety protocols from super reduced capacity. We were only allowed about 50 people in our 266 seat theater. Um, we, as a company, created a bubble, much like you hear the professional sports teams and actors on film sets, they create this sort of quarantine bubble. And at the residence that we own, the Spalding Inn, uh, we created that bubble with about 30 artists who all came together. And for that reason, we were able to safely uh, produce those three shows for a five week run. Um, and in addition to that, it garnered us a, a tremendous amount of national attention um, from both theater goers coming from far and wide to see what we were up to in the middle of a pandemic to media attention as well. Uh, we received uh, in the just after closing, we had a big feature in the New York Times Arts and Leisure section uh, that highlighted all our safety protocols, highlighted the productions we did, how we did it, interviewed our company members. It was really a pretty seminal moment in the uh, history of the organization. I'm really, dare I say it, kind of grateful that we had 2020 because it's only gonna make us stronger and it only made my, staff and my company feel uh, even more empowered and even more um, confident in their skills, both new and old. Season 56 at the Weather Vane Theater opens on June 26th, and we hope that we will see all of you there. In the meantime, stay safe, take care. As I travel on.